my channel my name is Tasha and today I got a um a quick little product review um I ordered I ordered um okay so I'm planning on going on a trip to Atlanta and um I'm taking my dog with me um and the thing is I am an advocate for my pet being safe in the car I I, I mean you don't know how many times my dog has I put on the brakes and my dog has fell on the floor and that scares the crap out of me. So I went on Amazon and since I'm going on a road trip, I went on Amazon and I was looking for dog car seats. Um, I think that I looked at, I think three car seats and the one that I liked the most, well actually there were two that I liked the most, well no, no, it was three that I liked the most. Um, one was the Amazon basics car seat the other one was the can h uh let me see let me get the, the exact names before i let me get the exact names it's called can h pet bucket booster car seat and then another one that i looked at let me go into my cart um the other the last one that i looked at was called pet gear lookout uh car seat okay so price of course makes a big difference in anything that I buy but also safety does too so um, the cheapest one of course is the Amazon basics uh, the next one in line was the pet gear lookout um, booster car seat which was okay so the Amazon one was 40 I think 43 the pet gear was 55 but it was actually on sale it was actually marked down from $99 and then there's the KNH the KNH $79.99 so it was between all of them. I actually liked all of them. The Amazon and the K&H were both made the same. Um, and the peg gear was more, it was shaped more of a box. I'll put pictures of what each one looked like in the description. Um, I think that depending on what type of car you have, on oh, another thing, the specs make a big difference too. The Amazon one was way, way smaller than uh, the K&H and h and the pet gear so if you have a small car i wouldn't advise getting like um the other two but the amazon was smaller um the can h one does come in two different sizes so you have to like measure your car to make sure that your car it'll fit in your car i knew for a fact that pet gear wasn't gonna fit it's shaped like a box it's literally shaped like a box so i thought that I would have trouble with the seat belt connecting and maybe it damaging the pet maybe damaging a booster seat altogether so that is the reason why I didn't choose that one even though it was right around the price I wanted to pay so I knocked that out because I saw a review on um I actually saw a review on it on YouTube about the the pet girl one and the guy had a small car and he was trying to fasten the seat into he was trying to fasten the booster seat into the seat and it was actually like pinching the size of it. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I got a small car. I already know that that damn thing is not going to fit. It being shaped the way that it is. So, let me show you how it came in the box. I don't know what it is, what's up with Amazon and, and their packaging. They threw this thing in like the most gigantic box. So let me show you. This is how it came. This box is huge. Do you see how big this box is? Let me sit it straight up. This is how box. This is how big it came. This is what the box that it came in. It came in this, this big huge box. So yeah, this is how it came. Came. So let me show you who's sitting over in it. Now I already know that it's pet approved because. Do you see how my dog is sitting in? It? He has not moved. He hasn't moved since. I put him in it since I ex I actually introduce him to and he hasn't moved he actually loves this damn thing so i know for a fact that i'm now he's a shih tzu and cosmo weighs and that's another thing with products you want to make sure that your dog physically fits into this so this thing comes in two different sizes um i decided not to get the small one because i didn't want my dog cramped you see how he's actually comfortable this is how I want him to be in the car. I want him to be comfortable in the car and I want him to be safe in the car. So this, let me show you, let me tell you what the specs of this car seat is. Because they do come in two different sizes. Um, 
let's see okay so let me flip this one out okay dog. in the frame there you go all right that's cool okay so they say on, on amazon it says uh this car seat Car seat elevates your pet for a better view. It keeps pet restrained for safety while driving, and it keeps your pets distracted. It keeps your pets from being distracted while you drive. That's what he does. He does that. He will get in my lap. He'll be all over the car. Drives me nuts. And that's another reason why I need him to be in a, a, a designated location in the car. Um, it also says that this thing is it's washable it comes off this whole well it's kind of hard to get the dog <laughs> he don't want to move out of this thing but this comes off and it's styrofoam like really solid styrofoam under here and there's also a pillow um really comfortable too it's really soft so let me see what are the measurements so this is the large size the measurements is 14.5 inches by 24 inches so it's 24 inches wide and it's 14 inches high so and this is the gray one i think it does come in let me see it comes in three different colors it comes in gray uh real tea uh real tree edge camel and then it has it comes in a can a tan color i got the gray because it matches my car interior so if you're looking for a good a good because i was looking for reviews on this and I couldn't find any on YouTube. Well, not I couldn't find too many on YouTube with the dog actually like sitting in it. Uh, I think there are some on Amazon where a lady had purchased. Um, she had purchased two of them, and her dog didn't fit. It didn't really. From what I saw, she said her dog could fit into the small one, and she actually decided to keep the small one. I think she should have kept the large because. Her dog looked like he would probably be more comfortable in the large size. Her dog looked like it was about 23 pounds. Cosmo is like 20, he's like 18, 19 pounds, something like that. I need for my dog to be comfortable. So I will do a video, I will continue this video outside um, with me installing this in a car so you guys can see how it looks because I have not installed this in a car. So I'm hoping that this will actually work <laughs> and i hope that it's not too wide because it um let me show you how it the seat belt literally goes in here it goes up underneath the pillow and it goes in here and i also let me i'm gonna get you something else show you something else that i purchased because i wanted to make sure that he was restrained okay so i got this too i got this too let me see if i can get this over So this is um the restraints. This will go. I will probably. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Th this thing can either fit over your your headrest in your car, and then they'll lock them in place this way, or I might get one of those little um what is those little things called? Let me show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> Think about getting one of these and then hooking it on there and then hooking this into the seat belt um, so that he can be restrained because this this extends um, to keep him from not being anywhere to keep him from not moving anywhere anyway so so the next um, I'll go outside and then I'm gonna connect I want to put this in a car and show you what it's like in the car because I'm gonna take the dog with me and um, we're going to about to go out. So, okay, so I'm outside I'm in my garage, and this is what I have a I have a 2013 Hyundai Accent, right? So, so this is the amount of space that I have. I got this blanket. It's a pet carrier that I have to put back. I have this blanket. Okay, so this is how much room. This is how big the seat is, not that much space. Let me increase the light. Okay, so. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the seat car. Let 
Like I said, my car is small. And then this is the seat belt. So I'm gonna take all this stuff out. This is that padding. And then this is the loop. This is the loop. These are the straps. So you can actually attach two dogs in one. You see what he does? This is what he does. This is why he needs to be restrained because he's BAD. So then there's holes on both sides, right? No, stop. Holes on both sides. So I'm gonna take the car seat, the strap, and I'm gonna feed it through. Now I can't do this with one hand. If my son was with me, he'll help me. So let me feed it through and then um, I'll come back. Okay, so this is what it looks like fed through. So what I'm doing, I'm not going to use these things. This I'm not going to use. I am going to use this link. This is the seatbelt. It feeds through and it plugs. Well, you know, it goes into the seatbelt hook. And it is, it's nice. So let me put the padding back in there. Let me see how Cosmo does. Cause he's a weirdo. I want to take him with me on a car ride. Cosmo. Okay, so this actually works out fine. This is the harness connected up here to the head to the headrest, and this is his um harness. Yeah, I like these harnesses because they don't choke the dog, so he can actually um look out. Uh. He can actually look out the window and I won't have to worry about him like jumping or jumping out or falling out of the window or anything like that. So he's actually content. I think this is going to work when I go on my road trip. So that concludes my video on the K&H K &H Pet Booster car seat. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and um, I'll try and answer the best that I can. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Kasha. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye.